Hello everyone. I just want to do this quick recording showing you how to create a multiple choice quiz or a set of multiple choice questions. Uh, how to create them in a text editor like Notepad or even Microsoft Word. Okay, so that you can after that import it into another system like Moodle. Okay, this is just how to create the file. Now, what I want to show you to start off with here is this particular website, docs.moodle.org, because it has quite a good description of the GIFT format if you want to go into it in any more depth. It'll give you the basics and you can go into it in some more depth. So you can use that as a manual. So just go to that site, docs.moodle.org org and do a search for gift format and you'll find that page there I'm going to use that page in doing this here now okay so the first thing is we need a text editor so now rather than use Microsoft Word which doesn't normally save as a text file I'm going to use uh, just notepad on my PC so if I if I just uh, um, uh, let's go find notepad it should come up here in a minute okay so we have notepad and we're going to write our quiz questions in there just let me put that aside for the moment and let's go looking on this page for a sample of a multiple choice question okay um now i let's see what we have down here i'm going to there's here some ones it okay here's some examples here now uh, this is slightly more complicated multiple choice question here because it's a multiple choice with specified feedback for right and wrong answers um, let's come back to that later okay I want to get a simpler one okay format examples multiple choice here is a really simple one here who is buried in Grant's tomb so what I'm going to do is highlight that copy that now let's bring in my text editor and let's put it in there this writing may be a bit so small sorry about that okay now you'll see how it's structured here or hopefully you can here's the question that the student gets who's buried in Grant's tomb and now inside these curly braces here um, we will put all the possible answers now I'm sure there's only one correct answer so I'm sure glancing at that you can guess which is the correct answer it happens to be the first one in this case grant here's another incorrect answer incorrect or here's an incorrect answer Napoleon Churchill and Mother Teresa now the reason I'm suggesting you pull an example question in is because you'll get the structure it, it gives you a better chance of getting the structure right so you can you can go and change the question okay and say what is the capital of Ireland and we can put in that's Dublin and let's see what would be the incorrect answer Cork, although a lot of people from Cork would disagree with me. Um, Sligo, we think a lot of ourselves, but we're no, we're not the capital of Ireland. And uh, just to be controversial. And if you want to, we don't need so many answers, let's get rid of this one here. Okay, so there we have a new question. Now, one other thing, or one or two other little things I want to show you, but one thing is. You might want to make it a bit more readable. This can actually be spread over four lines. It can interpret it just as well if it's spread over. So we'll say, there's our question. Okay, there's the start of our answers. And then maybe we'd like to put each answer on a separate line. That's quite acceptable as well. And that's a lot more readable, by the way. Now, there's another item here that I'd like to show you. And that's how to put in, say, the 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 title of a question okay and uh, in fact I left it out on this if I go back to here let me just go here let's see um, I just want to go up to this one up here that we were looking at a few minutes ago the 
to uh, this fancy one. In fact, maybe we'll just go over this. Okay, uh, let's take that question. It's a good. It's a good idea in general to um, just take examples and edit them. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, now the first thing I want to show you is this thing with these two uh, forward um, forward slashes here. You can, anything that you put after that on that line is just considered to be a comment. It's not, it's just to help you read the file. Uh, when it's being pulled in to whatever system, it's totally ignored. So that's just a comment. I also want to show you this thing here, which is a title for a question now q2 is a bit of a simple title but you could have um difference between or what between orange and green on the spectrum you could give it now the title of a question doesn't have to be the same as the wording of the question sometimes the title of the wording of the question is not great for identifying what's the question about and you want to put a more meaningful title on it so you can find it later um but often that gives a clue to the answer so it allows you to have a separate title on the question to the actual wording of the question. There's some stuff there on giving feedback as well. I'm not gonna talk about that. Anyway, if you had say a, a general layout for a question that you like, okay, and it probably is a good thing to put titles on a question. Um, let's uh, do the easy thing here. I'll just paste it in to make sure I have it right. Okay, so say for instance, Now we have a title on this question. Okay, question one, what is the capital of Ireland? If that's the layout you like, then take that, copy it, and paste it. Okay, paste it again. And there, just edit all those questions to put in the question stem or the, the question actual question text I suppose you could call it and the actual right and wrong answers and then you can create a lot of multiple choice questions very quickly like that that's probably much easier than creating questions in a lot of applications like Moodle much easier to create them in a text like this of course you have to save that then so we we'll go file save as we'll give it a name and we'll call that And remember where you put it, of course, because you'll want to find that file when you go into the application and you're trying to pull this in. So put it somewhere you can find it, okay. And that's a text file, then just save that. I won't take it any further. Okay, that's it, so um, uh, good luck with that. I hope you found that helpful. Talk to you again, bye.